Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. So this is Venice by Braincrack Games. This is one of the worst uh, packages of components I've ever seen in my life. So this box, I cannot stress to you how cheap it is. It came cracked. It came like this. I've contacted the company. They've refused to replace the box at all. I wouldn't usually uh, re call it a replace a box, but this is kind of egregious and, and there's more to it. If it was just a box, I probably wouldn't do anything, but just know that this box is full of things that are in here and this is one of the cheapest boxes I've ever seen. They spent the money on this. I wish they would have spent the money on the quality of the box. This box will fall apart for most people. Anybody who's kind of saying that's not the case likely got a free copy. I purchased my copy from my local gaming store. So either invest or something. This is what this is not your normal game board box. This is very, very cheap. You're going to get a rule book, which is kind of perused through it. The rules are terrible. Uh, not very clear at all. You're going to have a lot of questions after this. You're going to have to go to the facts and on game, uh, Board Game Geek and get answers. It looks nice in parts of these pictures that are here. This looks great. It's a game overview, but it doesn't really tell you a lot about the game. You're going to have questions about setup. It's not going to be very clear where you put things and what they do. And you go through a player's turn here. So a lot of the rules are going to be here. You're always going to have rules that are going to be in these boxes here. And one of the problems that we have is there are rules that are in here for kind of moving around. And then they're over here also. So like one of the questions we had that wasn't completely clear was about advancing assistance and activating buildings. These appear to be two different things. There's a lot of times that advancing the assistant will be called something else, but they mean this, not this. And it's not clear in here always because it's broken down. So here's all the rules, and then here's all the rules. And you don't always know where to refer to. And then there's more rules here, and it's not in any kind of chronological order of what you're doing. This is kind of tacked on and tacked on. Your influence cards, and you have end of game trigger triggers. There is a two player variant that's included because the game does not work with two players. Now, that's not indicated anywhere in the box that it's two players with special rules, etc. Then you have a solo variant here that you can add in. The rules aren't any better for that. And then gameplay examples, but a lot of the stuff that was like questionable aren't included in here. And then the building actions on the back. This was fairly nice to go through. Some of these needed more detail than what you're going to get here because sometimes I use the same icons, but it means two different things depending on the building. So you, this is almost necessary to keep out and constantly refer to it. Now, here is the board that you're going to have. I'm going to set this stuff aside. You can see that you're going to have these component trays that will be in here. I backed everything else up. The storage solution isn't great in here. You now you get these little things that you can put these on, but there's no lid to it. So that means as soon as you, you know, how you store your thing, this could just flip over on you. So not that great. Now this is the Kickstarter version, I think, in the store. It comes with some extra stuff. So I don't know what this baggie is that comes with it, but it comes with this extra big baggie here. I don't know what you would do with this thing. I can barely stick my finger in it. Terrible component. But let's set this aside and we'll pull out the board. So here's the board. We'll kind of go sideways so it can all kind of fit in here. Uh, the board's okay. Uh, I had some issues with it. Now the other side is exactly, so they spent the money to give you the exact same board. They didn't change the layout. They just made it look like night, which was a waste. I wish they would have spent uh, to redesign this, maybe give you a different ways to move around, maybe put these in different spots. Maybe there's balancing issues, but they didn't. But while they spent the money on a double print, this board is very, very, very cheap. As you can see, mine ripped. I've only played this one time at this point, and mine's already ripped in the center here, and this is only going to get worse. Let me see if I can zoom in that. It's not a huge rip, but it's not what you want to see when you first get your game. Um, it's also ripped over here, um, but this is going to be the main rip that came in it, and my game came like this. This is something because it's right on the bend. It's only going to get worse, and you can see the cardboard. Let me see if I can show you. Um, And you can see where the cardboard is, is that it's sticking out a little bit here. So, you know, nothing that's groundbreaking. It just kind of shows you on the first play, this thing is already broken. And they refuse to replace the board. So this is um, you know, a board that's only going to get worse and worse at time as I fold this more and more. So I've showed you the bags. I think this one came with the main game, and this was a component extra. Uh, I don't know what you would put in this. Completely worthless. I don't know why you pay for it when you could have had a better box and a board that didn't rip. So let's talk about these boats. These boats are really cool, and you have these kind of custom meeples that you're going to have here. So everybody's going to get two types of meeples. You're going to have your gondola driver, which will be kind of neat that you'll have. 
And you can kind of see the stick where he's doing that. And then your workers, your assistants, as they call them, Ezra, go through. Now I'll show you a couple of these. I had a lot of these that are just chipped up and didn't come to me in good condition. I don't know if it's a quality control of what they're doing over there. Uh, they did uh, offer to replace the meeples, but I got meeples laying around. I'm not really worried about meeples. I'm more worried about a broken box or a board that's ripped. But uh, just know there's no quality control in these. These are awful. Another thing is you get these bridges. You know They're silk screened. Uh, they look pretty neat. I like these quite a bit, and they fit on the board great. And you're going to have these little boobobs and stuff, and these are nice. Uh, the one issue is with this, okay? So you're going to be putting uh, goods and stuff on this, but they will be constantly falling off. This wasn't wide enough or really big enough, because you can put five on here. And when you're shipping things, and it just doesn't fit on here very well, and they kind of fall over all the time. You're going to have these tiles that you put out. These are the actions. These get really crowded really quickly. So they're one-sided, which is fine. That's for game purposes. You can shuffle. But when you're putting, you know, four workers on one of these spots, you can no longer see what you're... For one thing, they don't fit on there. Uh, you know, you have to kind of squeeze them on there. This one's hanging off the edge here. But now I can't read. So every time I want to utilize this, i got to take this off and then squeeze everybody back on. But if I don't put it per perfectly... You might think that purple one is up here, but it's not. It's kind of squeezed on here. So the tiles were too small for what you were trying to get in the game. So the components really just don't fit the game that they're trying to get here. You're going to get some cardboard money, which is fine. You're getting tens, fives, and ones, and they're cardboard. The card quality is fine. The cards are a little thin. I'll be very honest with you. They feel almost like mass market cards. They didn't spend any money on it. The uh, artwork is atrocious. I mean... You just get a picture of a component. There's no artwork whatsoever to be seen on here. Nothing to draw you in. I do like words better than icons. That's helpful. But some of these, you just don't know what to do. There are a lot of, and I'm not the only person on the BGG forums that are having issues with these cards. Cheap, lack of, you know, quality artwork. I mean, what does that mean? And a lot of these are very similar and just have minor differences. And they're very hard to understand. Now, I did get the upgraded components with the Kickstarter. It has metal coins. Those are nice. And you get these little cubes. So let me kind of zoom in on this. So what we have here is the gondola, a gondolier on the back. And you have to be very careful when you're putting him in. It's kind of a snug fit. And you'll be moving this guy around a lot from your two boats. Now, if you look here, I got four cubes in here, but I need to put a fifth one in here. So I could put it in the front there. But now let's say I need to get this white one out. It's a little difficult to get these out. And a lot of the game you're going to do is you're going to accidentally knock this over. The gondolier comes out and you're putting it back in. It's just very fiddly. Had this been a little bit wider, come on, gondolier, get in there. It'd been a little bit wider or just a tad bit bigger, I think this would have fit better on. What we ended up doing a lot of times was just stacking this on there, which doesn't look as cool. It's not a thing, but you're constantly moving this and the cubes are falling out. It's just something to take a note of. It wasn't very well designed. In addition, you're going to get these player boards. These are actually fairly nice. Let's take a look at one of these. You're going to have to be tracking the scrolls. You're going to be tracking... The influence here, it has what you do in a turn over here and a place for your cards. Uh, it is a note. I didn't see in the rules anywhere, but it could have been there that these are double-sided. I didn't see that at first. could have been something I overlooked. But you need to make sure that each side you have for the different players. These are fine and good quality. So this is a Venice unboxing. i got to say, this is one of the worst put-together games for what is a beautiful game. It was obvious that somebody wanted to put some nice components into this, but didn't know what the heck they were doing whatsoever. you got the cheap boxes. you got the boats that are too small. Even the upgraded components aren't worth diving into. You can totally skip them. I'm sure you have some metal money laying around. Uh, the gondoliers are cool, but they're, they're, they're too tight of a fit for those boats. This is an awful, atrocious uh, component-wise. So if you want to see beautiful artwork like this, this is not in the game. This is here to deceive you, to make you think this is going to be in the game, but it's not. You saw the artwork. Nothing like this is inside of the game. This is a deception at its best. I had some component issues. The company was unwilling to fix any of those. Uh, you know That is up to the company. They can do whatever they want with their company. But I got to tell you that a lot of deception going on here. The components kind of look nice from afar, but they're not very functional. Very fiddly. And then the artwork they decided to present is not inside the box. If, if you want artwork like this, take a picture of the box. Or print something off online if that's allowable. But you're not going to get this inside of the game. Awful components. Just uh, deceit from the start. Not very good at all.